All right, so just wanted to show you this dip. Ah, Gary, I uh, put that in a holder. I know it's gonna be hard to see these meters here, but this one's measuring how much overall is going into this. This is measuring how much the ECM's putting out. And of course that is uh, measuring what I gotta add to keep it going, right? So let's, let's see here. So, and I see or paralleled uh, two out of the four coils, so resistance is a lot lower. Just in the halls a little bit. So right now we're putting in 185. It's requiring uh, about 360. ECM's putting out about 210. And I can increase this. Now ECM's putting out about 250. We're running overall it's surging up close to 500 watts going into this we're having to give it 220 so a little less gain uh now it went to cc see that but it's still climbing it's got it's still got enough uh current i guess to bring it on up Let's see if it'll recover Yep, recover. And I moved the halls back. So that's full speed. It's taking over 500, about 520 watts. ECM's putting out 280. Not, 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 it's almost the same. We're almost putting in the same amount. So. Show you what it does when I try to disconnect. It slows right down. But yeah, and if I go any lower voltage here, well, let me, I got a diode, a uh, blocking diode, it's probably hot. Got a blocking diode there so that nothing can go back. Ooh, this driver's getting a little warm. Yeah, that's a little hot. Might need to <clears throat> be easy with it. Yeah, see, it switches right to CC right away. doesn't like it but anyway so more of what's going on I'm gonna let this cool down because this is hot I mean it's not gonna burn me but that's um, it's at least 130 140 degrees let that cool down um, get the bridge is warm not really not above ambient really this fan kicks on whenever it needs to so but anyway, so the way I wired it, um, I have, you know, four pairs or four triplets in there. Um, so they were a series, you know, one, two, three, mm -hmm. boom, four, and then neutral to star. Now it's, it's, uh, two pairs to star and then it's par uh, paralleled two to star. I think I'm gonna, uh, reverse that. Because um, I think I sh shot myself in the foot. My current went way up on this. Another thing I noticed is... Uh, make sure that's down or it's going to take off. So before I changed the windings, when this was all the way up, at 61 volts, I was only burning the ambient about 4, 4.1, 4.2 watts. Since I changed the winding, now it's up to 8 so that tells me that whatever's leaking through there with that low, low resistance is now uh, it's now just taking too much current. I think my resistance is too low, in, in other words. So, But yeah, I don't know what what your uh, ohms ohm out with your motor, Tim, but this is 16 gauge, 40 turns each on each, uh, each single coil. So yeah point it my meter fluctuated between 0.2 and 0.3 ohms basically a half of what it was so anyway yeah
I'm hoping the new the new drum will fit on my uh, my coils, but yeah, I think I'm gonna reverse it because I was doing way better. I was getting uh, the ECM was putting out. It was almost like double. Like this, well, the ECM was putting out the same, but I was only having to put in about 120 watts. So I think I went the other direction on this one. So just food for thought. I didn't, I didn't mean to make this too long, but uh, yeah, it definitely uh, doesn't like it. That's still pretty warm. I need to let that cool down. Might call it for today. I even tried disconnecting one of the phases off the bridge to see, you know, it lends a little bit less, but it still wouldn't wouldn't loop real easy so or I mean it slowed down it just slows down a little bit slower I tried my um, my butt down this nice expensive butt down uh, what I used on the mini uh, I need to I can't find my diodes it needs more diodes because this doesn't want to kick in when I connect the power source to the front this doesn't want to put out anything so the ECM is basically not putting out nothing. When I clamp it back here on the input, it will. It'll start putting out. I can control the CC right here. But um, that didn't help any. And this this thing is not very efficient. I remember when I uh, had it hooked up the other day, I sent you all the video. It was uh, putting out 7.5 watts to barely idle that. And I was having to put in 20. So, and uh, that's, I don't think I was boosting that far. I think I was boosting to... Uh, I can't remember. Oh, from that was from my battery. So about 19 volts up to, I think, 40 volts. It wasn't very efficient at all. So I'm going to probably get a W900, change this windings. Back. I'm not going to do parallel all four. It's going to be way too much uh, resistance, I think. Because, yeah, I got that 16 gauge is already pretty hefty wire. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. And, yeah, uh, someone broke into my car. Uh, last uh, this couple of days and stole a uh, stole. A, I already told y'all what it was, but uh, yeah, a little upset about it. Called the police, filed a little report, but it's gone. You know what I mean? Luckily, it was cheap. It was only like fifty to a hundred dollars when you sell it used, brand new. It was only like two hundred fifty bucks, so not not too big of a loss. But anyway, peace.